Guys, here's the GTA 6 trailer. Okay, I'm just kidding, but there's plenty of interesting news about GTA 6 from the past few days, so let's get into details. First thing, one of the insiders, San in Play, leaked information about Timbaland working with Rockstar Games to create music for the upcoming game. Why should we believe him? Well, in August 2022, he posted a tweet revealing the name of the female protagonist, Lucia. It's really interesting because the two protagonist names were confirmed a month later, in September, in the GTA 6 development footage leak. So how did he know her name before the leak? I have no idea, but he definitely knows more than us. He posted a tweet saying, The American producer, composer, and rapper, Timbaland, is involved with Rockstar Games in the development of GTA 6. The producer is not only responsible for creating music for the game's radio stations, but also for producing exclusive tracks and sounds that will be used in GTA 6. Then he added, It is worth remembering that the partnership between the producer and Rockstar Games has been going on for a long time since the development of a music game, music mixer, called Beaterator in 2009. He further stated that, according to internal sources, his participation in the GTA 6 soundtrack will be massive, which can attest to the heavy investment that Rockstar has made in the game's development, bringing remarkable people to work on every part of the game's development. I'm glad to hear that experienced people are involved in creating GTA 6 and can't wait to see the effects of Timbaland's collaboration with Rockstar Games. Let me know what do you think about it. But it's not just the music that will make GTA 6 revolutionary. According to reports, GTA 6 will have the most realistic water physics ever, and leaks are revealing that the upcoming title will include new water sports, such as surfing. Current water simulations in most games often fall short in terms of realism, and Rockstar seems determined to raise the bar even higher with their upcoming release. So it looks like Rockstar is reinvesting the money earned from milking GTA Online for almost 10 years. Earlier, another insider, Elix Venturas, revealed some info about GTA 6 on Twitter, saying the term ahead of its time is realistic. Thanks to the colossal revenues that GTA Online has brought to Take-Two Interactive since 2013, the businessmen of the parent company of Rockstar Games have decided to invest in a new technology and integrate it into GTA 6. Then he mentioned, We can therefore speculate that the aquatic environment will occupy an important place, and that a lot of novelties will accompany this new technology, such as the practice of a new sport never before seen in the Grand Theft Auto saga, such as surfing, for example. So, while GTA 5 already has impressive water features, especially for a 10-year-old game, and it has a somewhat detailed underwater world, there are only two water-based sports activities, swimming and jet ski races. From the fan-made maps made based on the September leak, we know that the GTA 6 map is probably going to contain a lot of water areas. That's why activities related to this will be so important in this game. Developers need to pay a lot of attention to water physics and increase the variety of available activities and vehicles. Rockstar Games has reportedly hired a team of 20 engineers that works exclusively on GTA 6's water physics, and they're updating their in-house Rage Engine. This move, inspired by NVIDIA's cost-prohibitive Waveworks feature, signifies a significant leap from the current standard in gaming. So if that's true, I think there's no reason to be worried about this part of the game. Going further, the new post by actor Brian Zampella, supposedly playing the role of one of two protagonists, Jason, in GTA 6, leads to all kinds of wild scenarios. In the past, he was hinting a lot about the game. In 2016, he posted a picture of himself with one of Rockstar Games' camera artists. Again, in 2022, Zampella lightly referenced ties to Grand Theft Auto by including the hashtag Vice City in one of his posts. In his recent post, Brian can be seen with palm trees behind him, suggesting sunny Miami as his location, which happens to be the real-life inspiration for Vice City, where GTA 6 will be set. It's his first post in months, and he seems to be in Miami? Can't be a coincidence, right? Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. But there's more, because even though the game isn't out yet, and we don't really know any official details, some people are already worried about the game. Specifically, it's about the fact that GTA 6 is all but confirmed to be utilizing an old setting of Vice City. For me, rediscovering that map is really exciting, but it's obvious that most of us expected Rockstar to go for a totally new setting, like Chicago, London, or Tokyo. Since its inception in 1997, Grand Theft Auto has journeyed through a variety of different locations. From the metropolitan expanse of Liberty City to the sun-drenched streets of Los Santos, each setting had its own unique vibe. GTA 5's return to Los Santos, which first appeared in GTA San Andreas, was also a risky move. Though some city districts returned from the classic GTA, Rockstar decided to expand it and made us able to roam the countryside as well. 
Despite this, over the years there were many voices that the GTA 5 map is boring and empty, and everything between Los Santos and Sandy Shores is absolutely uninteresting, so Rockstar has a really big challenge ahead of them. Of course, the modern setting in GTA 6 will be very different from the 2002 game, set in 1980s, but it won't be entirely new and unique, so people will surely compare the new playground to what was presented all those years ago. GTA 6 has the potential to delve into uncharted territories while honoring the rich history and unforgettable characters of the beloved Vice City. One thing that really hooked us in GTA Vice City was Tommy Versetti's captivating story. He was just a small-time criminal who found himself caught up in a dangerous world of power, deceit, and the fight for survival. Now, with GTA 6 on the horizon, there's a chance we might finally get to see what happened to Tommy after the events of Vice City. Did he continue climbing the ranks of the criminal underworld, becoming a major player in the city? Or perhaps did he try to leave his life of crime behind, seeking redemption and a fresh start? The possibilities for Tommy's appearance in GTA 6 are truly endless, and even though nearly 40 years have passed between the two games setting, I'd be thrilled to see his comeback as an elderly man in his 60s or 70s. There's another thing that people are worried about. It's very likely that GTA 6 will be unplayable for millions of players on the day of release. Why? Because according to the reports, the game is planned to be current-gen only. In other words, PS4 and Xbox One players are set to miss out. The Xbox Series and PlayStation 5 have been out since 2020, and ever since then, it's been hard to even get one of these, especially the Sony console. I remember when the release of GTA 5 for the next-gen consoles was approaching, and I was trying to get a PS5 to play it on day one, and every hour for a few days I've been trying to get it online somewhere, and at the end I was forced to buy a used console. You can imagine my disappointment when it turned out that Expanded and Enhanced is practically no different from the PC release from 2015. This is, thankfully, slowly getting better, because the availability of consoles is improving all the time. There were even some rumors that Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive have aimed to release somewhere around the halfway point of the current generation, to ensure the install base is large enough to warrant the release of GTA 6, and it really makes sense. Of course, it would be awesome if everyone was able to play the game on their consoles, also the last generation ones, but releasing the game on older gen consoles is what made the Cyberpunk 2077 such a flop. The game sold 13 million copies on day one alone, and it was unplayable for thousands of players. I know they had to do it because the base install of the old gen was too big to be ignored, and due to the market situation, people weren't able to get both next-gen consoles and high-end GPUs. But let's be honest, the amount of work required to support that many platforms is huge, and it would be better if Rockstar would focus on making the game polished on the current gen consoles and PC. I'm curious what you are currently playing games on, and if these rumors come true and GTA 6 will be released only on current gen consoles and PC, are you going to upgrade your consoles? Let me know in the comments down below. Today's the day of Take-Two Interactive Investors Call, so if there will be anything interesting, especially related to GTA 6, I'll let you know as soon as possible. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be updated about my next videos. As always, huge thanks to my patrons for supporting my work and contribution to my channel progress. Have a great day everyone and see you in the next one.